personally, I think people put too much value in being normal. They are like, don't put your foot above your head in public. It's not normal and it's inappropriate. But you just go along and stretch if you need to. However, normalization does have some benefits. Normal forms protect you from insertion anomalies. It keeps data consistent. This consistency is one of the things that keeps a database more database-like as opposed to a file system. Snowflake schemas consist of face tables, dimensions, and sub-dimension tables. Snowflaking is when you normalize the dimensions in a star schema, but we will get to that more in a minute. These snowflake schemas are usually found in data marts and warehouses. A star schema is in some sense a special type of small snowflake schema. These schemas can be less structured and are better with simple queries. Though, with more involved queries, they aren't as flexible. There are fewer relationships total for these tables. I wonder if they are lonely. These are also very good for read-only uses. Data integrity is also not as well enforced, which can lead to data anomalies. For decision-making levels, there is a spectrum for a business from operational to tactical to strategic. Where the operation level is more of a short-term decisions and the strategic has more of a long-term focus. The person testing the individual bouncy ball's bounciness is making decisions on the operational level, where the person deciding the magnitude of the production of the bouncy balls is on a strategic level. We were supposed to be talking about structured query language, SQL, all along, but didn't get to it since the learning process is a bit different for programming. I just thought I should at least mention him because he is a major part of this course. Bye! Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.